Namaskar. What goes into our soil and water ends up on our plate and inside us. This is an abstract. Life is safe. The world's most used weed killer is in the fields that grow our food. If soil life is harmed and water is contaminated, our bodies feel it. We need to speak up for our health and for our kids. Here's the science in plain words. Studies show glyphosate can damage DNA, disrupt hormones and affect the liver and kidneys. It doesn't stay put. It travels with rain and runoff and turns up in streams and rivers. Harm to bees and earthworms means harm to pollination and soil fertility the base of our food. This isn't just lab talk. Children living near spray zones show biological signs of harm. South American studies report more DNA damage in exposed kids and higher asthma rates in towns surrounded by heavy pesticide use. When kids' bodies signal stress, we must listen. Courts have weighed the risks too. In the US, juries and judges issued landmark rulings linking Roundup to non-Hodgkin lymphoma. When science, people's stories and the law converge, it's a warning sign. What now? Demand residue testing where you shop. Ask for safer weed management on farms. Support policies that protect soil life and clean water. Because what we put on the land, we put on our plate and into our kids' bodies. Thank you.